question is again for partial differential equation the question number is 61 okay so it's a question of two marks let's see quickly what they have given they have given a unit di uh, they have given a disk like this so this is a disk of radius 2 right and with the boundary del now they have said that u is a solution of the dirichlet problem okay so it looks like this u x x plus u y y equal to zero and u x y they have given one plus two x square but where on the boundary right so now they have asked that what is u zero one so if this is your uh unit disk of radius two then what where will be the zero point one point here will be your point zero point one right so Suppose this is your point 0, uh, 0, 0,1. So this point is inside this, uh, this disk, right? So wherever this types of problem that the given, they have given a value on the boundary and they have asked to find a value inside that disk or inside that problem, this uh, circle, this types of problem is called the Dirichlet problem for the interior to the circle. Okay. So let's see quickly how we can do that. So uh since this is a circle types so we will convert this into polar okay so for dirichlet problem the polar uh when we convert this the it will look like this r square u r r plus r u r plus u theta theta equal to zero uh that's here given is u x x plus u y y equal to zero okay so if this is the problem in polar then how uh we will get the solution so suppose u a theta is equal to f theta on the boundary okay so on the boundary suppose it is f theta that here given uh, u x y equal to this on the boundary okay so if the boundary conditions is given like f theta then our solution will be u r theta is a 0 by 2 plus summation this r by a to the power n a n cos n theta plus b n sin n theta okay so everything is known now the unknown is a 0 uh, a n b n and okay now how we will compute a n b n okay so for to find the a n we have the formula like this 1 by pi integration 0 to 2 pi f theta into cos n theta d theta okay and this n is from 0 to 0 1 to like this and b n is 1 by pi integration 0 to 2 pi f theta into sin n theta d theta okay so for our problem let's see how we compute this a0 v0 and the most important thing is this u a theta equal to f theta that on the boundary what the value they have given so in our problem they have given on the boundary 1 plus 2 x square and the disk is of radius 2 so for this uh, to convert this in polar we can take x equal to 2 cos theta and y equal to 2 sin theta right so if x equal to 2 cos theta and y equal to 2 sin theta then on the boundary it is 1 plus 2 x square uh, so in place of x we will put 2 cos theta so it will be 1 plus 2 into cos theta whole square 2 cos theta whole square and this will uh, form like this 1 plus 4 cos square theta okay so i will take uh, uh, 1 to outside then it will be 1 plus 4 into 2 cos square theta and 2 cos square theta you know 1 plus cos 2 theta and from here uh, i will get this form so this is my f theta now okay so on the boundary this is the value they have given and so here what is this u a theta is equal to f theta right so this a is the boundary okay for this disk uh, here it is what 2 right okay now let's see how we will do uh, get the a is 0 okay so i have right here a n right so where a, when n equal to 0 this cos n theta is what cos 0 is 1 right so it will remain only integration 0 to 2 by f theta d theta or 1 by pi outside so our f 0 will be 1 by pi this only f theta d theta so this is our f theta so this will be f theta into d theta right so after calculating you will get only 5 into d theta okay when you will do integration cos 2 theta it will be sin 2 theta but when we will put the limit integration 0 to 2 pi it will become 0 so 5 into 2 pi okay so and after calculating it will be your 10 okay so you are getting a 0 now you have to find a 1 a 2 a 3 okay so i will compute a n now okay so this is my a n actually now so if this is a n what is the uh, formula for finding a n 1 by pi f theta into cos n theta okay so a n will be 1 by pi this is f theta into cos n theta okay so already i have uh, seen no i have not seen 
5 cos n theta okay when you will take 5 cos n theta its integration will be what 5 into sin n theta by n okay but uh, sin n theta is what when we will put the limit integration 0 to 2 pi then it will be what sin 2 pi n uh, that is also 0 and sin 0 is also 0 so this value for pi 5 into cos n theta this integration will become 0 okay so we have to think about this 4 cos 2 theta into cos n theta okay so for this we know a well-known result right that when integration 0 to 2 pi cos n theta into cos m theta when this value m and n are same okay that means integration 0 to 2 pi cos square n theta that becomes pi okay so that means cos n theta and cos m theta when m and n are equal then the value is pi and otherwise if m is not equal to n that value becomes zero okay so this result we will uh, take here so here look in our result it is cos 2 theta into cos n theta that means already the value of m is given they have said m is equal to 2 so for non-zero value we need this n must be 2 so when n is equal to 2 this value is pi okay and when uh, n is not equal to 2 then that value is 0 so when n is equal to 2 that means what this value is our a2 right so this is actually our a2 so, so this is what only 4 so a2 is 4 and other than a2 all the values are 0 that means a1 a3 a4 all the values are 0 now look so we get our a n now we have to find the b n right right so bn is what f theta into sin n theta so this is our f theta this is our sin n theta so now it's your task that using these types of a formula that cos n theta sin n theta so actually this uh, also works for sin n theta also okay so but here it is sin n theta into cos uh, 2 theta okay so also you can compute a uh, rule like this that when sin n theta into cos n theta so this is your task uh, that to find this integration this is very simple class 12 life uh, types also okay so i got this value is zero so it's your task you can verify it now so that means all the b and i am getting zero right so that means now for this solution you are theta what i need is a zero b a n and b n okay so now i got all the value now i can uh, then put the value here and i can get u r theta okay so now what is my ur theta a0 by 2 a0 is my 10 so this is 10 by 2 plus look here is the interesting thing when my a2 a2 is 4 only and other than a2 all the values are 0 and bn is always 0 so i can put it here okay so bn is always 0 so this value is 0 so no need to write it and when a2 okay so when only a2 so this value is not zero other than a2 all the values are zero so i can write now all the summation when n is not equal to 2 this whole value is zero so when n equal to 2 this is what r by a whole square into a2 cos 2 theta right so i will write this and all the values are zero so i will write this r by a so here a is 2 so r by 2 whole square into a2 a2 means what 4 4 into cos n theta where n is 2 so it is cos 2 theta so this is my u r theta now okay now in the question they have said what is u 0 1 okay so on the circle on that circle this is my u 0 1 point okay so when u 0 1 is what if this is the point in uh, Cartesian coordinate u 0 1 in polar coordinate what will be my u 0 1 what will be my r and what will be my theta so you can clearly see here this r is 1 and theta is pi by 2 right but if you want to compute this so your x is 0 and x is what i can write x equal to r cos theta so r cos theta equal to 0 from there you will get theta equal to pi by 2 and y is 1 that means r sin theta is 1 so from there you will get since sin pi by 2 is 1 so r is 1 so you are getting r is equal to 1 and theta is equal to pi by 2 okay so now you know what is u01 so when u01 means what now in polar coordinate it is r theta so r is 1 and theta is pi by 2 so that means you have to find u1 comma pi by 2 okay so this is my u1 comma pi by 2 so if u r theta is this now you can put the value here r is 1 so 5 plus 1 by 2 the whole square into 4 and this 4 4 got cancelled and cos 2 
into theta is pi by 2 so cos 2 into pi by 2 that means cos 5 right and you know cos 5 is minus 1 so 5 minus 1 is 4 so 4 is the right answer here okay so the value of this will be 4 i hope you understand the solution thanks